Okay, furniture lovers, we're really gonna see some wonderful things now. <laughs> Look at this, lion's head and claw foot, little parlor set here um, with uh, the little two-seater and then the rocker. There were probably other pieces that went with it. Mm, kind of gruesome, huh? Yes, but so popular in our great-great-grandparents' day. Now, you'll notice with this, if we look closely, where the arms have worn away the finish, we do not see mahogany. No, that's just some uh, unattractive wood, base wood there, that's been given this really dark, dark mahogany stain. Uh, but the wood itself is not mahogany. Mm-hmm. Wow, I like that. Okay, too bad I don't need to get my her did. I'd sit down on that. A little sewing table there. Workstation with a liar base. Oops, get in the frame, get in the frame. Sorry about that. And a little depression era radio table. Or whatnot table. Look at this painted chest back here, sponge painted. Wow. 1930s. Mm-hmm. This great big old chair. It's been reupholstered at some point. Boy, that really makes a statement. How about the fire screen? with the needlepoint uh, dogs in the middle of it. Wow. And an oak desk down there. Okay, as I said, I'm in, right now I'm in Strasburg, Pennsylvania, the home of the famous Strasburg Railroad. I'll have to take you there sometime. Let's see. Look at this game table, beautiful. Uh, flame mahogany and it's all carved under there. Let's see what the price is. Uh, $395, $395. This, this is a thousand dollar piece of furniture. Of course I won't uh, try to do this but uh, wow I was gonna try to spin the top but let's at least get down here and look at the base of it mahogany carved claw feet with mahogany veneer my goodness that's a nice one is that Empire style mm, a little bit not strictly, though. Oh, poor things. Oh, there's a Morris chair. No, wait a minute. Let's see if it has its adjustment in the back. Now, the cushions are replaced. Uh, yes, it does. In case you don't know, see this rod back here? This will adjust. So it's an early type of mechanical chair. It's an, it's an early lounge chair called a Morris chair. But it's got new cushions on it. More oak, often called tiger oak. 
or quarter sawn. Technically, the oak is quarter sawn, and when you cut it, you get this, these medullary rays come out, and you get that wonderful tiger effect to it. Look at this. Another 1930s table. Put your old Philco on that. Baby buggy. Some cottage furniture back here. That one has its original paint on it and that one's been stripped. That cottage furniture is almost always uh, painted. Look at this. I'm just gonna let you see outside. It's a rainy day. Here in Amish country. Mm -hmm. Strasburg is, uh, oh, just on the outskirts of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And of course this is Lancaster County. Now there's another floor here, which doesn't look like we're able to go up there. Um, and this is, I don't know if this was a grist mill or some such thing. It's, it's an old uh, country type of a building. <laughs> I don't know what it was. <laughs> you can hear the floor. Creak, creak, creak. That's not my arthritic knee. Shield back chairs. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, we're gonna go downstairs and cross the street into a more uh, traditional antique mall, but actually, I think there's more furniture downstairs. Some of you may remember, I brought you here about a year ago. No, I think it's been maybe two years. Now let me close my mouth and get down the staircase without breaking my neck. I'll be right back. Well, let's look at the price tag first. $195 for a carved oak bookcase. Well, not really carved. I mean, this is all machine done and it's applied. $200, now let me back up. $200 for this bookcase that is uh, five feet tall. I know it's dark in here, so it's kind of difficult for you to see it. Let me try to you see it a little bit better from this side. Oh my gosh, I'll tell you what, this is like the best time to be buying old, old brown furniture right now. You, you would spend more than that if you went and you bought one of those kits and then, you know, put it together on your living room floor. There's a depression era blanket chest or hope chest as they're called, $175. And some typical sort of 1940s, 50s era shield back mahogany furniture. Look at this oak. Now this one is $3,000. Oh no, no, they've marked it down. It was $3,000. Look at the carving on this oak china closet. This thing is six and a half feet tall. Oh my gosh, no wonder. I would have nightmares if this thing were in my house. No, I wouldn't, I would actually like it. Look at this. He's telling you stay out of Granny's china closet. That's what he's saying. So it was 3,000 and it's now $2,250. I'm trying to get you to just see how huge this thing is in oak and it goes all the way to the floor hold on i know i have to, I, I keep refocusing there it is can you see it oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh look at this beautiful whatnot cabinet over here 
with a musical motif on the front of it. See that? Put your objet d'art on either side. Wow. It's just too much, too, too much. Well, now I'm down in the basement and whatever they did in this building, there's the old original uh, equipment there. I guess, well, it says Old Mill Emporium. So we're in some type of a mill. Look at that motor right there. How much horsepower do you think is on that baby? Mm. That thing hasn't been fired up in years. What does it say? Sp Sprout? Let's see this equipment here. It says Sprout Waldron and Company Manufacturing Engineers of Muncie, Pennsylvania. Look at that. Look at the gears on this thing. Can you imagine the noise when this baby was running? I guess the farmers brought their uh, corn and whatnot. <laughs> That's how you grind it up. I don't know. What a, how, I don't know. Just a guess. Look at all the sleds. How many of you went sledding when you were little? I sure did. We had a sled. A couple of them. Old rocking chairs. Wash tubs. Well, I'm now in a different store, and this is a much better view for you to see how Stereopticon works. So you can see the way the cards are placed and with the two, the two pictures, but then when you look inside, my phone probably won't do it. Um, but they join together as one and they give you, I guess, I don't know if it's a 2D effect or a 3D effect. But that's it right there. Oh, and it looks like it's uh, $60 for the whole thing. Okay. Uh, it's a chilly, rainy day here in Pennsylvania, and the heat has just come on. So, but we don't have a loud radio station that's uh, competing with me. So we'll just walk around and see what we can see in this particular store. Well, still in Strasbourg, I'm leaving this one building and headed over to another one that's full of antiques. It's a very tiny little village here, you can see with old houses, and this one is the Strasbourg Antique Market. This one, I think, has three floors. A little more traditional. Uh, well, I guess I shouldn't say that, but the booths have more of uh, the smaller bric-a-brac items where the other building was mostly furniture. And of course, I loved all that furniture. I could have stayed in there all day. Oh, it's cold out here.
Oh no, $75. $75. I don't want that dumb lamp. I want this Czechoslovakian light bulb cover made of glass beads from the 1920s. That's what I want. Yeah, man, I want to rip that right off that light bulb. Now that lamp is just, eh. You know, just spelter and nothing too outstanding. But boy, that light bulb cover was hot, wasn't it? Mm-hmm, that light bulb cover is worth $75. Eh, maybe 50. Uh-huh. Still in Strasbourg here and underneath the loudspeaker. So I guess it's time for me to sign out and do some voiceovers when I get home. See you later. Look at this. <laughs> this great big old Ford. With the crank, of course, in the front. And the radiator cap. What kind of a Ford? All right, it's not a Model T. Oh, wait, here we go. Uh, 1918 Ford Huckster. Uh, don't sit in it or on it. <laughs> okay, I won't. Oh, the windshield wiper up here. My goodness, it seems to be in a great st uh, state of preservation. My gosh, how did they get it in here? Oh, there's a garage door behind me. Okay, that's how they got it in here. I'm supposed to be looking at uh, antiques. Well, I guess I am, aren't I? Let me get... Anyway, here's more of the little village of Strasbourg. Um, they've got the back of this huckster all filled up. Uh, who am I thinking about? Uh, the trusty huckster. Patrick, is this what you'd like to be driving around, Patrick? Selling your antiques? <laughs> um, Patrick is a friend of mine who has a channel called, um, the trusty huckster mercantile, and he does a lot of great deep dives. This thing is just too cool. Well, I've just brought you down these old wooden steps and we're now down in the basement of this old mill type of a building. Look how thick those walls are. This of course is not where I was uh, just a few minutes ago. I'm in a completely different building. And it's again, massive with three floors. You know, the first thing I see is an old radio horn. Uh, it's been repainted anyway. I'm going to look at that in a minute. Um, oh my goodness. Wow. 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 It's hard to tell, you know, where to begin. Uh, what to show you, what to talk about, what to highlight. So sometimes I just walk along and I don't say anything. Look at the banquet lamp over here. Am I in focus? I hope so. I'm going to have to, uh, I'm just brushing through very quickly, but I'm going to go back to the uh, staircase and start all over again. Look at these dresser lamps in green over here from the depression era. See these, this pair, $60. Is that each? Pair of green hurricane lamps, both work. Oh, it's $60 for the two. Okay, that's, that's good. It's not a bad price at all. Okay, um, yeah. I think I'm gonna start all over again because I'm going too fast. Why don't I do that? 